Hey guys, it's Anna. So I wanted to share with you my basement grow room. I have all of my rescues, cool growing stuff, hanging bulbophyllums. Um, this is where a sink used to be, <laughs> and I filled it up. Also my dahlias and cat boxes, I just cleaned, so don't worry. Um, I had this big green cymbidium that's been open for quite some time. Uh, I need to figure that out. I have lots of <laughs> clovers <laughs> growing. Um, this, this is beautiful. So more pendulous cymbidium. Um, it's a cliff hidden higgins or something, I think. Um, I thought it was going to be green, but it turned out to be this fun color. Um, I got some rescue phalaenopsis down here in Spike. And then let's take a look at some rescue stuff. And uh, so I helped that guy Bill. And a lot of the time he wants to throw something out. Um, if I think it's worth saving, I will. So like, this one had a good lavender flower. And it was really bad, but the new growth is coming on strong. I have had to throw stuff out here and there, but I mean, that's part of the fun for me is rescuing things. And also I have my circle chrylus down here. They're just kind of finishing up blooming. I love this one. It's pretty big. Uh, that one's... that one. So they're basically almost done flowering. It's a nice orange one. Nice orange. Oh, this one I really loved. It's too open though. Yeah, so this is how I've been growing my circle chylus. Um, right now I have the lights on from 8.30 to 3.30 for the winter time. I'll change that. Well, I won't change that. They'll all go outside for the summer. And uh, I have a selogeny over there that is going absolutely crazy. It's got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 new growths. Um, from almost killing this repeatedly every winter, I moved it down in the basement where I could, um, It I don't know if it's a cooler growing, but it's done really well. Uh, the bulbs got a little dehydrated, but that's okay. And then obviously you have stuff like this. Oh, and I have my Astabalias down here. Um, I think that's due to the lack of humidity, but they've been growing. I have another one spike, another spike, this spike dried off, so obviously I need to figure out the humidity issue, but that's okay. And like, this one I'll probably have to throw out, but like right there, there's new growth. Uh, one of my, ooh, which one? Let's see. This one went from being very, you can see how shriveled and dehydrated those are, but it has like one, two, three, four new growths, five new growths. Like this one. It's really dehydrated, but it's got a nice little new growth right there. So, hopefully they'll live. I know I said I want to get out of Catlias, but I can't let them be thrown away. I can't do it, guys. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching my basement growing orchids. Um, and then, yeah. When stuff comes into bloom, I'll try to share it with you. Oh, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with this. I got this from Equigenera. And, uh, I don't know. I think it's uh, gonna die. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, so that's my growing, oh, and here's, <laughs> remember last year when my deer ate all my circle chylus? See the, but this is the one that was just a single leaf, and now it's got some nice little new growths. It became one leaf to two leaves to three leaves. These guys are really hardy, like you can, Kind of water them however you want. At least that's how I do it. I do have a pump sprayer, like my water. But I water them every couple days. Just mist it, and you see that there's moss on them. So you know the moss is alive. So these are kept pretty damp, growing. There we go on this side. But yeah. Just kind of water, 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 and like, but that's okay, right? If stuff lives, like, oh, this is one that is really good rescue. 
but other ones probably won't live. And that's perfectly fine because I don't need all of them, but I just can't let them get thrown out, you know? I can't do it. So that's about it, guys. I love you so much, family, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.